today we are doing a product review of a product that we received from the Taco Rack Company. Yeah. So we decided Sorry. that we would invite some friends of ours into yes. our kitchen. Some amigas! Yes, yeah. and they are called Ronda Shonda. Ronda Shonda. Ronda Shonda. Ronda. 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 Our one name. Yes. Yes. Ronda Shonda. You have to roll that R. Ronda of oh. Taco Rack. Ronda. Yeah. I can't do it. Ronda. There it is, I got it. Well, okay. So, we heard that you all like tacos. Is that true? We do. It's, it's a staple on Tuesdays. Um, okay. Every Tuesday we have tacos, Tuesday. enchiladas, burritos. We'll just do it up, you know. Okay. okay. Like to show homage okay. to okay. our Espanol um, hombres. Okay. Yeah. All right. Our okay. brothers. Then this is exactly what you need in your life. And we do. Why because when well, we break tacos, um, oh yeah, you know we warm them up, take it out the thing, and it, it smashes it, it gets real brown, uh -huh. and then it becomes warm. nachos. Okay, yeah. yeah, you really need the taco. That, that, I think that's why he crazy. <laughs> okay, so real. we have to hold the long rail. Come on, we're gonna work together. All right. All right. And one hand upside down. We got it. Now, okay. while holding the long rail upside down, take this piece, the short part, mm -hmm. the short rail, and. It. Check that out. You make it look so easy. Isn't yeah. that easy? <clears throat> now let's take the other long rail. Bring that part. I can that. Uh oh, here we go, here we go. Bam. Check that out. Right here. Okay. Take the other short part. You still hold it? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, was, I got mesmerized. Come on. Oh, it's okay. so easy to put together. It is. I want to get ready to taste it. Now, let's flip it over. Oh. Okay. What was that? 10 seconds? Maybe 20 seconds. Oh, this is so, what y'all think about this product? I think this is good, you know. Um, now, now, now the problem is, we put this together, but what we're gonna do with my taco shell? How long should I put it in there? Okay. Do you ever read the back, the back of the box? I do, but I always come out with dark skin tacos. Well, see what I do. My mama said if you can smell it, it's done. Unfortunately, when I smell it, it's past done. So. Right. Let's see. Let's get a box, a back of a box, and let's read and see what they say. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm gonna get take the paper. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you you. <laughs> You need us. That happens sometimes when we're doing turkey too, but that's another cooking show. Yeah. Another, oh, we don't we don't we we work with y'all. It, okay. it says remove the taco shells from the plastic container. So you don't have to do this. Right. I like to right. to all of pretty. Okay. Because my kids easily break them. Okay. And I like to place the blame on them when really and truly it's me and their dad that break them. Their dad mainly because he has a heavy hand. We gone. Okay, so we got we got the shells in, so we're gonna make sure that the oven is set for 350, which okay. I do believe it is. You know what's beautiful about this? They're not laying down, they're sitting up. And okay. I like that. And and there there's no reason why they should work. Yeah, because on the box, what I do remember is it tells you to like diagonal kind of having them sit on right. top of each right. other. Right. 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 But that problem right. has been solved. Because you got the top of the rack. TacoRack.com. I know y'all liking it already. Yeah, okay, okay, so Chef Mel is going to go ahead and put them in the oven. Okay, ladies, we pull the tacos out. Yes. The taco shells, yes. So what, yes. You, what do you guys typically do when you guys make your tacos? Oh, we take them out of the oven, Chef Mel. And um, then we begin to make them and eat them. That's exactly what we do. Now, when you, now when you make them, do you put the lettuce and tomatoes and all that? I set up a bar. See, in my house, we're lonely. we have a little sour cream, little lettuce, little cheese, little meat. And then we put them in as mm -hmm. so. Okay. Hey, see, that's the problem with most people making tacos. Mm -hmm. Too much going on? Too much, too much going, going on. on. Yeah. Poor K. For the taco rack, right? well, we, the see? next step is after we warm our taco shells up, we put the meat in there, mm -hmm. put a little cheese, and you put them back in the oven. Right. Stop it. I've never used the oven more than once. Never. Ever. Well, Ever? Not, not in this process. process. So, what? I mean, you, you know. know. Right, I mean, so let's, 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 right. Can we make them? Let's go. The yeah. right way. Okay, all right. All right. So here we go. Little meat, little meat, little meat. Not the meat for the taco. Okay, I've heard people okay. using fish we'll put chicken meat. On. Okay. Can you say fish meat or just fish? No, it's just, it's fish. just fish. fish. It's just fish. I've heard of using fish meat. I can't use my cognitive dissonance. Can't use that fish meat. How do I for that cognitive dissonance? Please, then, thank you. Um, this girl's educated. Now I'm gonna pinch this cheese myself. Okay. Can I finish with the cheese there, Chef Mel? Yeah, okay, Chef Mel. I'll get this chicken together. I'm gonna sprinkle right. that. Oh, this is great. I like how you have the, the chicken. You don't use ground chicken because that was kind of suspect. You use at oh, well, you I like that. So what do you use? Yeah. Well, for the turkey, I use ground turkey. Okay. 
And for the chicken? See, I'm gonna be shredded chicken. I'm gonna shred it. You know, like canned chicken or chicken in the. No, oh, no, see, no. I, I got a problem with canned chicken. I just <laughs> something about chicken. I don't care to sit on the shelf. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, you don't know. know how long when the chicken really yeah, die. Yeah, you got some more cheese. Yeah, you, yeah, your taco will be tight. Cheese because my people are like fast. We we are trying to be different, and people in my family are lactose intolerant. Y'all have to. Y'all can do lactose. We trying to be. Chop put some cheese. We kind of see. <laughs> you, you, you can't see Lanetta. That's you what the taco you can't bag is for. Oh, look, it's just your taco still standing up straight. And you can't good. use her cheese. All right, for I, I think um, now we're gonna put these back in, <laughs> in the oven. No, we're gonna put oh, this, this is about the cheese. cheese. Yeah. This is about the cheese. Hot. I order. <laughs> so how long do we need to leave we the tacos in the oven, um, Chef Mel, just to melt the cheese? This is enough to melt the cheese for okay. another two minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. So now. Oh, eat your heart out. Well, we got to get them ready, so we're not done yet. I'm ready now. Our next step is we're going to put our favorite toppings on them and enjoy them. I want this one right here because I like the chunk of the meat when you threw that in there. My mouth, you know, I start to salivate. So I need we just want to say thank you to Mr. Nicholas of TacoRat.com for sending us this great product. Of course, we in G5 Kitchen give your product five Gs because we love the ease of it. We love the fact that it is a great display for our table. And as you can see, our family members are enjoying these tacos. Yum, yum, yum. That's right. So make sure that you go and check out his website. It is tacorack.com. Mm-hmm. Order as many as you can. Just go mm-hmm. ahead and load them up. Get them for Christmas gifts, yes. birthday gifts. Because yeah. yeah. it's, really, it's really a practical <laughs> gift. And also continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, mm-hmm. Instagram, mm-hmm. Pinterest. Don't forget we do have a website, g5socialtastekitchen.com. And if you also want us to try out a product mm-hmm. that you have, Make sure that you email us at g5tastekitchen at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Thank you all for tuning in, tuning in with us. And Mr. Nicholas, thank you again for the taco wrap. See y'all. We interrupt the Freddy's schedule program and let you know I've taken over Lanetta's spot. I am G5. And I the am G stands for gorgeous. The, the five... G stands for Gemini. For twins. All right. Okay. okay. Come on now. If I had a little hard. I know. Okay. Keep it moving. We have taken over. This is our show. Forget what you heard. It's all about us. It's no longer about the Gucci is over. We're here.